Feel Good TV. A stunning bridge collapse at the port of Baltimore. The entire key bridge in the harbor. The Francis Scott Key Bridge plunging into the water overnight after it was hit by a cargo container ship. I want to know what the bang was. The <laughs> ship hit the key bridge. <laughs> sinking. Devastating attack. Holy hell. Video shows smoke coming from the ship before it hit the bridge. The bridge is normally a major artery spanning the Patapsco River. And major artery. This bridge. Key infrastructure bridge in Baltimore, Maryland area. Collapse happened in the early morning hours, 1.30 a.m. Video shows cars crossing moments before the ship hits. All right, Pete. The traffic then paused, but vehicles... All right, Pete, all these people, it's like it's seven people haven't been found right now. They're in the water. It's been, it's been a long time, you know. Uh, maybe they washed up ashore, but it looks like they lost their life. Uh, millions, tens of millions in shipping messed up probably on this container. Woo! Millions in infrastructure down the drain. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna cost the city to reroute different, uh, 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 uh reroute the uh, uh, traffic and the commerce that was gonna be used on this bridge. Oh, it, it's looking very financial disaster in a terroristic situation right here. The ship owners say this was an accident, but when I seen the video, I knew this was no accident. Were still on the bridge as it then crumbled into the water. Fire department and Coast Guard teams rushed to the scene, rescuers searching the water overnight. Still very much in an active search and rescue no, posture. This is a recovery. Sonar has detected the presence of vehicles. See, sonar uh, has detected vehicles deep in the water, freezing temperatures. The ship is an almost 950-foot container vessel called Dolly, headed from Baltimore to Sri Lanka. The Synergy Marine Corporation saying it collided with the bridge pillar. They say it lost power, and they say that it lost power and they, uh, uh, engines failure and all this nonsense they're saying. What I said in the beginning when I seen this video is, why are you losing power near the, uh, this, 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 this support structure right here? Why are you not losing power in the middle of this uh, waterway right here where your ship can pass through easily? Why again are you near a support beam that you can hit if you lose power? These are very professional and very advanced technology. These are very professional captains and this advanced technology on that boat again. Explain that to me. And all of its crew members, including the two pilots, have been accounted for. The ship reportedly lost power while in the water. This morning, with the sun rising, search teams continue looking for any survivors in the water as the Baltimore area reels from a major collapse. A major attack. They're not going to say that. But in these times we're living in, you know, we look at stuff differently than everybody else. This is Dabu 7. You guys are looking at a large cargo ship from Singapore that has crashed into the Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. This has triggered a mass casualty event. The entire bridge has collapsed. At least seven vehicles, including Collapse. one tractor trailer, in the water. Seven people remain missing, although there could be more. Two people have been rescued, and sonar has detected multiple vehicles in the water with officials stating that there was absolutely no indication of an intentional act, saying it was an accident. I actually have footage here I want to show of when this all unfolded. That is a current look at the spot. You can see as the boat comes into frame here, it has some kind of power loss and gets its power back. And this is the first power loss right so, there. You lose power... <clears throat> near this critical support beam right here. Why weren't you navigating in the open part of the water? The open part of the water. No, you losing power near the support beam, okay. It seems to come back and then they lose power again. That's when they hit the bridge and the whole thing goes down. An absolutely horrific event. You can see Thick smoke coming from the ship as well. I'm not sure if it's from the stack or if something was on fire. You can see we 
recovery again, then it's too late. Right here, it's about to collapse. And there it is, the entire bridge going into the water. With the people on it. And this is going to be something that's going to take some time as... It's devastating. But when you go into this comment section, you will see the captain and the navigators of those vessels are extremely well skilled in their, in their profession. This was absolutely no accident. Well, I don't think so neither. With today's technology, nothing is an accident. Not an accident. This was intentional. He hit the critical structure on purpose. Wow. Direct hit. Looks intentional. Huh? Huh? Come on, Nadi. That was no accident. That don't look like no accident to me. It looks like they intentionally attacked that bridge right there and brought it down. That would be called a terrorist attack in some countries, wouldn't it be? Yes, I think so. I think they need to check, was this guy paid a little extra to do that? To bring the Baltimore area to their knees today, reeling and hurt the shipping and commerce in Baltimore and Maryland, all around the a bunch of government facilities, a bunch of government people. I wonder was it any government people on that bridge late that night. I wonder do some government people have to reroute today and go to some other places. Who knows about the surprises that may be awaiting them. But this was just an accident. Nothing to see here. We can't believe that. That's nonsense. Cut figure. Follow me.